All right, guys, welcome back. We are gonna build some exhaust today. So if you saw the last video, we got that downpipe finished up, got it bolted on. I got that flex joint all mounted up in there on that V-band. So now what we're going to do some three inch from there. So this is a kit. They're, I don't know. If, I think it's called like a builder's kit. So it's a four foot chunk, and then a 45 and a 90. So I bought two of those, and I think they're like 60 bucks a piece. So not too pricey, and it's 304 stainless. So it looks pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna get started figuring out what I need to do to get this stuff in there. So all right, we got a chunk of pipe in there, and then I tacked on a 45 to run up. Um, so I thought I was going to have to cut and angle it, but there was actually a little bit of playroom in that flex pipe, so I was able to just kind of angle that that piece of pipe in there just a little bit and got it centered between these two mounts. So I'm going to build a little hanger for that, and I got some just some 3 8 stainless rod. I'm going to bend up so I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. Alright, so here's a couple mounts. I'll show you how they go. So they just clip through there and then just weld that on there. I got one on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and get those tacked on. Then we can connect a uh, another pipe there. Alright, I got the hangers welded on. And now for above the axle I got I just took this other 45 and I got it marked there. So I'm going to put those together, tack it on there. I'm just going to get the whole system tacked up and then I'll go through once I get it all done. I'll go through and weld it all. And I'm actually going to put the other V band on this side of it so I can split it easier if I need to. And because I have another one, so I might as well use it. So I'm going to get those tacked up. I'm using that solar flux again so I don't have to purge the entire section of pipe so we'll get that uh get some solar flux on there and tack that up so this is a solar flux so i'm just using just a little glass cup you use pure methanol and you don't need much at all so just take oh that was a lot just take a little bit at the bottom there get the solar flux You don't need too much, so all this methanol does is makes it possible to actually coat the pipe. So there's no specific ratio you need. You just need to thin it out with the methanol so you're actually able to to coat the pipe. So then just take it and just coat around where you're gonna be welding. So that's how it looks. So that just protects the back side of the weld so you don't have to uh, purge it with gas because that gets real expensive. So I do that on both sides and then you can tack it together. So there's that section I just tacked on. So we got clearance there and then that just runs straight up. And then, so I'm going to put that V-band there, run it through those mounts and then Let's use this 90 here, run it up about there, and should be able to just get a straight a straight section in between that, and, uh, and that'll do pretty good. So I'm gonna get get a V band tacked on there, and then kind of get this situated where I want it with that straight section in there, and then we can get all that tacked together. All right, so we got that last piece tacked up, that one there. So that's how it's coming out right now. We got that, we still gotta build those mounts and then that V-band there. So, just gotta uh, finish welding that up, get some mounts on it. Well, there's the entire system. I just got that other half of that V-band tacked on there. So last thing to do is just tack on the, uh, the flex pipe 
build three more mounts or two about here and then one on the tailpipe so yeah pretty simple really and it fits pretty good so I'm gonna slap it back on get that uh, the flex joint tacked on there and then I'll pull it off for the last time and weld on or fully weld all these joints so and the and the V bands obviously too so coming together Right, I'm gonna make a couple hangers. So this is just that rod I showed you guys. It's 3 8 stainless rod, and I'm just gonna use the vise. It's pretty easy to do. So what I'm doing is stick it in about three quarters of an inch or so, tighten that down, and then we can bend it at a 90. Bend it at that at a 90 and then I stick it in like this all the way up so it's about probably a little over an inch. Crank that down. So I'll do something like that and then I'll just stick it up in there, mark it, cut it, and then build the next one. Alright, so you can see that that uh, tailpipe's coming straight out and I've decided to change it a little bit. So I'm going to kind of angle it out like that instead. So I'm going to take that 90 and just cut a, cut a section out of it and then weld it back together so it's sticking out more of an angle and a little further back too so I'm gonna pull that back off and uh, show you guys um, how to cut that thing and if you need to like if you need to adjust your bends at all it's not too hard so I'll show you guys that so I just kind of marked out the middle of the bend here and then these little dots I'm gonna just cut basically that pie section out and that should give a, a decent angle so I'm gonna cut that and uh, it's kind of just a guessing game um, obviously it doesn't have to be perfect as it's just a tailpipe and there's plenty of clearance around it so I'm gonna cut that see how it fits if it needs trimming then not big a deal you just trim it again so we'll get going on that So now I'm just going to clean up that a little bit and then throw it on, see if that angle's right. If not, we'll just cut another section out of it until I get it where I want it. 
All right, that one I put up on the truck and it, uh, it fit pretty good, so just a little bit more of an angle there. Um, also, I don't know if it's just the, the this pipe I got. It's not uh, on the mandrel bends. It's not completely round anymore. Um, it could just be that it's a cheaper pipe. So just be aware of that as well. I kind of had to try to match them back up so it fit up. The fit up would be okay, but close enough. There's a little bit of a gap on this side, but I'll just kind of even it out, and then sh shouldn't be a problem welding it together. So I'm gonna go get that tacked together, um, and then I want to get those hangers on. I already got them built, so I just gotta tack them on. Get this up in the truck, tack those hangers on, and then I can pull it all off and weld everything. That one's already done. So I gotta do that V-band and that weld, so. So that's what we're looking like right now. Got that piece tacked on, and it's obviously a little short, so I'm gonna take this little section here and uh, weld that on just like that. So now I'm going to do a, actually a little bit more of a miter cut on that, stick it out, it's about right, right there, so I'm going to get, uh, just do a little more of an angle on that one, and then I'll tack that on, and uh, I'll show you guys something cool, I already did it to this one, so with that color on it, it's pretty easy to do too, you just need a torch, so I'll get this thing cut and then I'll show you guys how to get that color a little tip just to don't really feel like buying a tip so I might as well make one all right so I got that that uh, miter cut a little better so before you do anything make sure you clean it even uh, fingerprints will will make a difference so get some acetone wipe the whole piece down That only needs a torch, so just take it and uh, just spin it around. I'll show you. You don't want to go too much. kicking the camera around so it's obviously still pretty hot but you can get it pretty even if you go slow if you try to go too fast and get one spot um, it turns out real splotchy and it's not very consistent so that's pretty good I'm gonna leave that and also if you mess it up you can also just take a a uh, scotch bright wheel or something and you can actually get that color back off and redo it so I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna work with that. So uh, get that tacked on, then I can weld up that entire uh, tailpipe section. All right, there she is. So everything's all tacked together. Pretty much all I got left to do is just fully weld everything in, and then I ran out of that rod, so I got to go get some more for this this rear hanger. And then I already got those on, so I just got to tack those on. And we can get this thing fully welded up. So I like that a lot better. Much, much better than coming straight out. So, yeah, I'm going to get this thing pulled off and uh, get it all welded together. All right, I got this whole system off, <clears throat> and I'm just going through. Got that welded, that welded, and... Everything else pretty much welded except this V-band. Um, so when you're welding these V-bands, you want to clamp them together and do your welds and then leave that clamp on until it's completely cooled off to room temperature. And that will ensure that you don't warp that flange. And also if you see these marks, 
that's the orientation that it sits on the truck. So if it does warp, these flanges will warp together and it'll still seal, which I highly, highly doubt they're gonna warp being clamped together. So I did on the on the front one here. I had that uh, I had a V-band clamped on it and it didn't move at all. So and then other than that, I just gotta build a couple hangers. Uh, so I'm gonna get this welded up and build some hangers for it and then we can throw it back on the truck for the last time. Um, so these welds actually actually turned out a lot better than some of my previous ones. Those ones right there, I like. That turned out pretty good, I think. So using a little bit different technique, I'm, I'm pulsing the arc with the pedal. My machine does have pulse settings on it, but I find it easier to uh, just use your use your foot pedal. You can control it. And you can adjust your, you know, as the material warms up, you got to drop your amperage a little bit. So you can adjust that. Whereas if you had the machine, if you had that machine set with a pulse, then it's it's not, uh, you can't adjust a whole lot. You can still adjust a little bit with your foot pedal, but. So yeah, I'm gonna get these welded up and uh, show you guys that. All right, this thing's fully welded. Just got these uh, V-bands on. Well, it turned out really nice on these. It's a lot easier to weld uh, weld these V-bands when there's so much, the material so thick on that V-band, it uh, doesn't get as hot. So, it turned out pretty good. So I'm just right now building, a, starting to build a little bracket for the downpipe. So I got that and then I got some of this rod. I'm gonna weld onto here and then that bolts right to the tranny. And I'll show you guys that, I'm gonna get it tacked together and. Uh, get up in there and then I'll show you what I came up with all right we are fully welded up mounts everything's done so took way too long to build this thing but I think it was worth it turned out pretty good so this is that mount I built for the downpipe now that, that's on the bottom like underneath the tranny that bolts up onto the transmission just to stabilize that that downpipe to keep any stress off it and then like I said after I got this uh, flex joint so that's going to take all the stress from um, the engine moving under torque and everything so that'll uh, keep that downpipe in good shape keep from having too many stress cracks and all that good stuff so hangers are all on we're good to go I'm going to throw it on the truck for the last time and show you guys just one last one last peek at uh, how it fits on there. So, all right, guys, the exhaust is on. Finished up. Here's that. Uh, there's that downpipe mount. It's kind of hard to see with this flashlight. Anyway, it bolts right up to the uh, training where the original exhaust had a, a bracket bolted there too, and then. All fits pretty good. It's all tucked up in here, and and with these V bands, it's super nice. I can I can pull this whole exhaust off in like two minutes. Just pull those. You probably just pull that one V band there, and you can take the whole system out. So that's it. And then I got that mount back there. Those mounts there. That's how it looks coming out. So I like how it turned out. I think it'll uh, definitely do the job. So it's pretty. Just having those rubber mounts, I don't know. It's pretty, uh, pretty solid. So she ain't going anywhere. So if you did miss the last video, um, go check it out. It's building this downpipe. Um, and yeah, this thing turned out pretty sweet. So it's all pie cut, stainless, two and a half inch, and then um, yeah, goes up to three inch down underneath the tranny. So yeah, go check that video out if you didn't, uh, if you missed that one. Um, next video is I'm gonna be finish up this intake and just got that lower intercooler pipe to build. So stay tuned for that one.